Welcome to my live stamp therapy. Usually we are live on Thursday nights and um, I wasn't able to come on and do a live stream for you last night. So we're live tonight on Friday night. It is Friday, January. I'm trying to look at my calendar. January 27th? What? That can't be right. What are you guys doing today? I normally don't see you on Friday nights. We have kind of a quiet Friday night at our house. Um, sometimes it's it can be pretty busy, and I guess some of the kids are busy. But I'm here stamping with you, and I'm so excited that you are joining me for tonight's live video. Um, I'm so sorry that I wasn't able to give you more notice that last night's live video would be delayed. Uh, I I didn't really plan for it to happen, but I wasn't um, I wasn't feeling great, um, and I needed. I needed to go see the doctor and everything's fine. Um, <laughs> so there's nothing to worry about. Um, I think I, um, maybe I'm a little bit stressed. I don't know. <laughs> I'm all good and I'm here and I'm so excited to be stamping with you tonight. I always talk about Thursday night stamp therapy and I'm not allowed to make the claim that stamping is therapy. However, for me, it very much is something that calms me and I enjoy I enjoy exercising that creative muscle in my brain. So I know you guys are all feeling the same way. That's why you're here tonight. And sometimes when I am sitting down and trying to figure out what I'm going to make, I look to the catalog for some inspiration. Last week, we did um, three projects that we cased from the catalog. And um, oh, they were just so fun. I love the way that they turned out. But there was one project that I didn't get to that I had flagged in my catalog. We are looking at the January through April 2023 mini catalog and links in case you're watching this after the fact I'm on page 20 and um, this project here kind of caught my eye first of all I just love the layout um, and also I got this stamp set bundle it's called sweet citrus and I haven't used it yet and so I I unlocked it, I unwrapped it. We're going to break it out and ink it up tonight. Um, this is a really fun bundle because this is a hybrid bundle. It comes with all three of these pieces. There's a stamp set dies and an embossing folder and these in fact are packaged together so if you order just the dies or the embossing folder then you're going to get both of them together and the way it works is we have a die that can sit inside the embossing folder. They call this a hybrid embossing folder. Have you seen this before? Um, I've had other ones that I, I've shown. It's been a little while, but you can use it, the embossing folder just as a regular embossing folder. You can use the die as just a regular die, or you can put them together and you can let's see, <laughs> you can die cut and emboss at the same time. Like it kind of fits into the grooves. And so you can send that through and die cut and emboss at the same time. That's what we're going to do. But we're going to add one more layer of magic by stamping first. Oh, I cannot wait to try this out. And I, I have to admit, I didn't try it out ahead of time. So hopefully it turns out great. This is what the card we're going for. We're going to come back and see how our inspiration card compares. Um, I don't know. Do you guys do you guys copy the catalog like I do? Last week I did share um, the PDF document. It's a supply list that Stampin' Up! Um, provides with a list of supplies used for all of the projects in the catalog. I'll link to it in the video description when we're all done so you can check it out if you haven't yet. It's like hundreds of pages, so you're not going to print it. But if you're ever looking at the catalog and you're just like, hey, what stamp set is that? Or what did they use to, you know, to do that? Um, then you can look at the project supply list and it'll tell you all the stamp sets, all the products, all the colors. I think that's another thing. Sometimes we look at the catalog and, um, you know, we really like the colors, but we're not sure what they are. So you can find that in the project supply list as well. Well, I'm using some different colors in this sample. I'm going to use um, Mango Melody and Daffodil Delight. And so instead of the limes like they got going on here, I'm going to do like some lemons, some orange, 
Um, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> what other citrus are there? Um, I chose a piece of designer paper that is um, from the Dandy Designs. This is one of the freebies that you can get during celebration with a $100 order. It's the jumbo pack of paper. And I just find myself reaching for it over and over again because it's so versatile. So this has got a mango uh, melody pattern that's going to go on the front of our card. And then I have a white piece for the inside. Both of those are four inches by, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry about that four inches by five and a quarter and then I've got a piece for the front that's three inches by three inches and this is um, five eighths inch by two and a half and I'm realizing I forgot a piece to stamp on so let's just we'll just grab a piece here and I'm gonna die cut it anyway, so it doesn't matter if it's perfect. I have mounted our stamps. We have, I love that this image, um, it, it is one stamp. So these four are one stamp and then the inside is one stamp. So you can stamp it together and die cut it together and emboss it together. It makes it so easy. So we're gonna start with the outer layer and this is going to be in the Mango Melody. And I just re-inked this one the other day. So hopefully it won't look too splotchy. In order to avoid the splotches, I'm just gonna kind of move it around a lot on my ink pad. And I think that corner didn't get it very good. Okay, so this is going to go right here right in the center. Oh, I'm seeing some comments and I I do apologize um, uh, but if you couldn't find where we are tonight because we're kind of in the middle of our transition from Facebook Lives to YouTube Lives. So um, from now on, we're gonna do our lives on YouTube. But I did, and hopefully you went through, I did try to share the link over on Facebook. Um, so hopefully you guys found me. All right, now this is gonna go centered in the middle. And I have to say, I saw on Facebook on the Demonstrator Planning Place, which is a Facebook group just for demonstrators. I love it. Um, there was someone who demonstrated at, um, at on stage and she made a coconut out of it. And I thought that was just so clever, um, the way she like used that half one to be like a, like a coconut shell. Well, when I stamp it like this, I feel like there's not a lot of difference between my Mango Melody and my Daffodil Delight. You can kind of see that the mango is a little oranger. Um, and I think part of it is because my pad is so splotchy. I kind of want to just try again. So let's see if we can get a better, a better image. And um, I'm going to try, I'm sorry if I'm shaking. I'm going to try to just kind of um, really ink up and get this nice and nice and juicy and we'll see if we can get it any darker any better eh, maybe a little bit the other thing we can try if we want to have a more distinction between the colors is we can try to stamp off with a yellow so we can stamp one time. Usually I would do that on scrap paper and then we can stamp again to get a lighter version. Oh, I think I kind of like that lighter version. I like the more distinction. So I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna do this one with the lighter daffodil and I'll, I'll save those for another project. All right, are you guys ready to check out this hybrid embossing folder? This is gonna be so cool. So we're going to put this in to um, the embossing folder with the die at the same time. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip this over to line this up and that looks about right. And then I'm gonna close the embossing folder. And we're gonna bring in, for this one you need the big, you need the big stamp and cut and emboss machine. And you're going to put it through, I think we need to go a little higher with our camera. Hold on a second, you're going for a ride. <laughs> well, I physically moved the camera. I think we need a counterweight though. All right, so when you're using the embossing folder, any embossing folder, you want to put the fold of the embossing folder through your machine um, first. And this is a 3D embossing folder, so I'm going to get out the specialty plate. 
which is the dark gray one. And this is going to go over the top of the embossing folder and then we're gonna crank it through. All right, here we are. Let's see, how did it turn out? <laughs> so we die cut and added the texture all at the same time. I love it. Oh my gosh. There's so much texture on there. And so again, you can use the embossing folder by itself. You could also use the die by itself. So if you liked those stamped images to be flat without any extra texture, you can just use the um just the die by itself without the embossing folder linda thank you so much for reminding me about the stamp apparatus i don't know why i always forget about it i it's just put away i think i need to get it out and have it on my desk and then i would think to use it <laughs> more often um i love the way that turned out so let's get our card let's let's get our card together so on the front we've got the designer paper again this is from the dandy designs and um, I'm going to put that right in the center. And then there is a square. And I think I'm going to put it on some Stampin' Dimensionals. And so before I do that, I'm going to arrange our citrus pieces. And I'm just kind of going by um, how it is in the catalog. And then I have the sentiment to go... Um, over here off the side. And I did choose some Daffodil Delight for the sentiment, just to like introduce that color. Besides the stamped image, we also have some little cardstock. So have a zesty birthday. And, oh, I love that. And then um, let's, I'm just gonna move the camera a little bit. We're gonna come back down so you can see. I'm so sorry for the shaking. Um, okay, so have a zesty birthday. On the inside, I pulled out this one. It says, sending you a big squeeze. Oh, <laughs> I love clever puns. So that's going to go right in the center. And um, I kind of want to add, what else do we have in here? Um, hmm. Maybe just some of those flowers. What do you think? Should we just add some flowers? I think that'll be a little pop of color. I'm improvising as we go. <laughs> um, oh, I do love that. Sending you a big squeeze on the inside. If you wanted to, you could add a little strip of designer paper. And you know what? Maybe we'll do that. I'm gonna get out my paper trimmer and just cut a little, I'm gonna do just like a little half inch strip and five and a quarter will go across the white. I, I'm trying to make an effort to, um, to decorate my insides a little bit more because I feel like if you don't, it's like, you're, you're stopping the party at the front door. So <laughs> we, we want to keep it going on the inside. So we'll put that on the inside. And then I'm going to arrange all of these and, um, and add this to the card. I'm kind of feeling like it needs a little something. And I don't know, maybe... Oops, that's not black. How do I feel about like a black square behind it? I think, I think that's what it needs. I just feel like it needs a little, a little something to anchor. So I'm gonna do three and a quarter by three and a quarter, which is um, a one quarter inch layer to go around the white. Perfect. And I've had these little strips <laughs> of black twine from my Essentials Twine Pack just kind of sitting on my desk. I think it's left over from another project, but um, I have several pieces. So I think we should just go ahead and try to add that to our greeting and tie that black in again. So we're gonna layer these. I 
I am really digging this citrus set. You know, I, I just was thinking about my very first stamp set. Well, my very first stamp set when I started as a demonstrator was called Happy Winter. And it was a snowman and a tree. And that was 21 years ago. <laughs> um, but... My second stamp set was called Citrus and Such. And I just loved the bold colors and shapes. And so I got the Citrus and Such and some bright stampin' spots. And um, and I, I just made some fun kind of um, bright summery cards. And so this kind of reminds me of that first stamp set, Citrus and Such citrus and stuff except the new stamp sets we have these amazing hybrid embossing folders and dies and when I first started stamping we didn't have all that crazy stuff so this is this is really fun to see how how much has changed in 20 years leave a comment and let me know how long have you been stamping um, do you do you remember life before dies? <laughs> we used to have decorative scissors, and I remember when we first started carrying punches, and that was a big deal. That was so much fun. Um, I guess before that, we used to just fussy cut, <laughs> and now fussy cutting seems like such a chore when we have so many amazing dies that can do that work for us. I am going to switch this up and put it on this side. And when I show you the original sample, you'll see it was actually on the other side, but I don't, I don't think it matters um, that much. I'm going to do, I think I'm gonna do like a figure, a figure eight. Um, and so I'm going to just go back and forth like this and kind of pinch in the center. I'll do a little bit of adhesive on the back and, and then add, my greeting. Okay, I want to keep the center kind of pinched a little bit. Oops, but I want it to go the other way. I'm seeing all your comments come through. Yay! <laughs> we have some old timers like me, veteran stampers. I won't call us old. <laughs> Oh, and some of you have just started um, stamping in the last few years. I love that so much. Judy, 30 years stamping. Um, Janice, you kind of read my mind. I was just seeing your comment about the ribbon. Um, we'll put the ribbon on the, the greeting, though I did think about it being, oh my gosh, you know what I think it needs? Okay, hold on. <laughs> I just remembered I have this ribbon. Okay, it turns out I don't have this ribbon. I thought I bought the black and white gingham ribbon and I thought that would be so cute on this card, but it turns out I don't have it, or at least it's not with the rest of my ribbon. So that is sad. We'll have to stick with the twine for now. And I'm just gonna have to place another order and add that, add that to my order for next time. <laughs> yes, Vicki, I do remember when we had to cut our rubber stamps. And one of the stamp sets I'm using today, I actually did trim the rubber a little bit because it wasn't um, <laughs> it wasn't cut very well. So now Stampin' Up! has a machine and they die cut. Um, they die cut the rubber stamps. And so they're, they're cut out for you. And all you have to do is kind of push them out and get the stickers on. But back in the day, they were just squares and you had to trim around your stamps so that it wouldn't catch all the extra ink. <laughs> we used to have the craft and rubber scissors and they were reserved solely for trimming, <laughs> solely for trimming the rubber. Um, okay, this is going to kind of go off the edge here. And so I have one dimensional under the birthday. And then um, the other is going to kind of hang um, on this. And this twine is going to kill me, I think, tonight. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> um, I'm just going to give that a little trim. I 
think I think I like the angle of this. Oh, I really love the way this turned out. If you wanted to, you could add some embellishments. I might keep the the, the black going a little bit and um, and add some black dots. Do we still have those in the catalog? We had some black matte dots for a while. Okay, let's take a look at our inspiration. So here it is. I think the that center panel really pops a lot more with the black layer. And um, I still did add some ribbon. I changed the shape of the greeting because I used um, the zesty birthday instead of the um, thanks a bunch. And that ribbon's gonna drive me crazy. <laughs> oh, I love the idea of Wink of Stella on the fruit. That's such a good idea, Bonnie. Um, I am gonna see if I have some of those black matte dots. Do you guys know which ones I'm talking about? Um, I think that they're still current. Oh, you know what though? Look at this. I like these even better. The classic matte dots are a little bit smaller than those other ones, which actually I think might be retired. Um, but I've got some of these classic matte dots and they come with neutral colors. These are in the annual catalog. And um, I like these because they're a little bit smaller than the other ones. So just, just like a little pop of um, just a little pop of something. I never know where to put that third one. <laughs> I think I say that every time too. Um, I did like them over here though. Over here. <laughs> that's it right there oh my gosh okay so this is just a bonus case project case of course means copy and share everything or copy and selectively edit which is what I prefer. So copy and selectively edit. That means you're just gonna make your own changes. So I was inspired by the layout. I used the same stamp set, but I changed up the colors. I changed the, the side, I moved it over here instead. And I don't know what that inside of that one looks like, but we did stamp an inside for this card. Oh my gosh, we're off to a great start. This is again, the Sweet Citrus Bundle. And it has, um, it has the the hybrid hybrid die and embossing folder. You can get that bundled together and save ten percent. I love that. Let me show you really quick in the catalog. Um, oh, actually, here's a sample I have from another demonstrator. This is from Natalie Travis. I love how she used the rectangular um, the rectangular postage punch. Um, I marked the page because I just wanted to show you some more samples. Here is the, um, on page 49, um, here is the, the, um, the, the big picture of the stamp set. But I just wanted to show you how you can use the hybrid embossing folder without the stamps and, and then just sponge it. I think that's really pretty to add that sponge of color. And here we've got the stamped images that aren't embossed. And oh, look at that, two more um, images. It's almost like a grapefruit color. That's really pretty. And then here they use the embossing folder um, without die cutting anything without the, the fruit. Oh my gosh. All right. I hope you liked the first card. I'm excited about the next project that we're going to make. And kind of, this is a bit of a case as well. I received two amazing fun fold cards. Uh, I received a lot of amazing fun fold cards for the great big card swap, but there were two that were um, very similar. And so I wanted to give this fold a try. Bringing in my supplies here, switching switching gears okay so the fun fold cards i received do you remember these from tuesday this one is from mercy ermakoff and she said this is called the three tier card and i think i think leslie kneisel who made this one 
I think she said that she saw it on um, Lisa Curcio's channel. Maybe that was a different card. Um, oh my gosh, have you guys made this card before? I thought it was just so much fun and such a great way to show off coordinating designer paper. It kind of has like a cascading vibe to it. So this one uses a new stamp set along with some dandy designs um, from that same the same paper pack and then this is the adorable owls which are a celebration item that you can get and the country floral lane designer paper oh my gosh i love too that they show them how um you can leslie's got one that goes vertical and mercy's goes horizontal oh i just saw a comment jackie bullheist maybe was the one who showed the three-tier card um, there's always just so many, <laughs> so many awesome demonstrators who share awesome projects. So, um, thank you to Leslie and Mercy who inspired me with their version. Um, and Donna says, yes, Lisa Curcio, Susan Campfield have done, um, videos on that. So, I think, I think everyone's got a video on it. And here's one more. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you the three tier card today. I am using this designer paper this is from the celebration book day at the farm and i have to tell you like i feel stumped on this because i'm just not sure like what to do with this paper and so i'm challenging myself to use it so i hope that you enjoy um this card idea here are three in the catalog now this has a coordinating bundle from the mini catalog the coordinating bundle is called on the farm and it has some dies that go with it which i just think are so much fun especially because you have some that add texture and then there's some also some smaller um, like detail dies that you can use that are different than the stamp images but the day at the farm paper is a 12 by 12 paper that you can get for free with a $50 order during celebration and it's um, it's got some beautiful designs I have to show you the 12 by 12 because this one has a big design that would be so amazing to make framed art for um, a child's room or a, like I feel like you could really use that like in a baby scrapbook day at the farm um, we loved to go to the petting farm um, here in town over the summer when the kids were really little we used to go like all the time we would have like a story hour and so we'd go and see the farm animals and listen to the story hour and then go home and take a nap it was perfect <laughs> I was like totally use this paper to scrap like those trips all right so this is one page of course we're always double-sided and we've got this one and this coordinates with the dies and we're gonna die cut some of these for our card today you can see I've cut a piece out for that oh I love that red plaid Here's one with the geese and the chickens and the little chicks and the windmill. I thought was really fun. And then chicken wire on the back side. This one we've got the dark red paper. I think that's just really fun for a background with some um, texture, kind of crumb cake color, Sahara sand, and then some veggies. This would be really cool if you're doing a recipe book or recipe cards. Um, you could use this designer paper to um, decorate that. Some yellow stripes here. I love this one with the hills I just think that's really fun and then on the back side we've got trees and cows so uh, just like all 12 by 12 designer paper packs you're getting two each of these sheets um, and you can get this for free during celebration I'm going to show you really quick I made up a paper that shows all of the um, different celebration gifts that you can get so free with a $50 order there's three different paper packs to choose from four different stamp sets including the adorable owls the thanks about your carrots sending support and in the country and mom and I will be featuring thanks a bunch this Sunday for Sunday stamping with Susan and Julie so be sure to tune in at noon on Sunday noon central time to see what we have created I have quite a few cards to share with you and I'm really excited about the um, alternative uses for this stamp set that I think you're really going to enjoy. Now free with a hundred dollar order you can get the beautifully happy stamp set. It's a two-step stamp set, kind of a double stamp set, and that dandy designs designer paper. So you have until February 28th to get your celebration favorites before they're gone. Um, and you can do that at juliedavison.com slash shop. Uh, I have a couple host codes open during the day. Here's one of them that you can use. Z Z K Q 
for PF67. Uh, it may be different from the video or the, the code I have in the video description. Any of my current codes are good. And when you order $40 or more from me before tax and shipping, you'll get a free project kit. I'm working on those designs and we'll be mailing those out next week. So if you shopped with me in January, watch your mailbox. In the next week or two, you'll be getting your card kit and a thank you card from me. All right, let's make this three-tiered card. If you haven't seen it before, I think you're really going to love it. I have some measurements written and I will also include them in the video description when we're all done. Our card base is four and a quarter by 11 inches and I scored at two and a half, three and three quarters, six and three quarters, and eight and one quarter. Um, I'm going to be doing a vertical card like Leslie's and um, so we're going to be folding um, sort of back and forth to get a zigzag kind of fold. So the cascading um, sort of look here. And you want to have a bone folder and get some good creases on your cardstock so that your folds lay nice and flat. So I'm just going to um, turn it over and get good creases on both sides. Love a good bone folder. So here we go. You can have it be um, this way or you can have it be that way. And then I've got some layering pieces. So um, the bottom layers, we're using black again, four inches by four inches. And you're going to need two of those. Those are going to be for the top two panels. I think I did this right. Yes. <laughs> and then um, some, some pieces to layer on top. And both of them are three and three quarters by three and three quarters. So I've got one that is designer paper and one that is white cardstock. And then I have the bottom panel. So this is gonna go down here. Um, the, the black cardstock is two and a half by four and the layered designer paper is two and a quarter by three and three quarters. In addition, I have some designer paper that we're gonna die cut and a little piece of one inch cardstock that we're going to use for our front sentiment. So let's start by gluing our layers together. Now, both of these pieces um, are cut from the same designer paper piece and I used the big one. So I cut the, um, the top piece here and I've got that piece there. So um, because that is a very specific paper, um, you'll only get these specific pieces <laughs> um, from one per sheet, but you can use other pieces of the designer paper. I just liked that it was kind of like a scene. And so I'm just gonna add on to, add on to that design with some die cuts and some stamping. Um, and so we'll see how it turns out. Since it was only one per sheet, I haven't made this up ahead of time. <laughs> That's always dangerous. But I kind of I kind of pieced it together and so I think it's going to I think it's going to be all right. To finish customizing the top, I want to use the cloud image and I'm going to stamp that in um, balmy blue. And I just kind of wanted to keep the clouds going like they are over here. So it's going to be kind of subtle because I'm going to add our sentiment um, up in that top corner. And so for the sentiment, I cut a piece of white cardstock that's one inch. And um, I think this is about three inches. I'm going to end up cutting it, but I just wanted a long piece to put inside this pick a punch. And so one inch is the maximum width to go in here. And we've got three quarters and a half inch. And let me show you where this is in the catalog. Um, we've had a couple different pick a punch um, things before where it does two different like tag ends and um, and this is a brand new one. It's right here on page 53. It comes bundled with this Happy Labels stamp set. Um, and so this is the Happy Labels pick a punch. And so it creates the two different ends and all of those sentiments will fit inside um, the different sizes, half inch, three quarters, or one inch. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in and go all the way in and then punch it. And so I get that decorative that decorative edge that actually, I don't like, <laughs> it didn't center very well. I'm gonna try that again. And I'm gonna use the back here to punch and center it. I really wanna get those rounded edges. There, that side worked out better. Um, okay, I'm going to stamp the sentiment. For the front, it says, thinking happy thoughts of you. And I'm gonna stamp that in black. 
Let's see. Oh, this is the one I had to trim because there was a lot of extra rubber. And so I just want to make sure that my stamp is parallel with the bottom of my block. And I think my sticker comes over farther. So I just need to make sure I come over a little bit to center it. Perfect. And I'm going to just cut with my scissors. Close your eyes. <laughs> I say close your eyes because I know it bothers some of you that I use um, the big scissors to cut my paper. <laughs> this is going to go over here on the side and I'm going to put that on with some Stampin' Dimensionals. And um, I got to find them first. Let's just grab a new sheet. And then the other thing I'm going to add to this front image is a die cut cow. And so I'm going to get out the dies that coordinate with the designer paper. I love when Stampin' Up! does that. You don't need to have all the stamped images. You can fussy cut these images right from the designer paper. So even if you don't have the stamp set, I think you could very easily make this card with just the designer paper. Um, okay, so we're putting this aside for a second. That's the extra piece. And we're getting out our dies, which are right here. This is really cool. So we've got a die that's going to cut the cow. There's a die that cuts the pigs. There's a die that cuts the flowers. And I think we want to do a yellow flower. And then there's also a die that cuts the sheep. And the sheep also has a texture die. And so we're gonna die cut that and see what that looks like. Um, now, whenever I'm using a lot of different dies, I find it really helpful to use a piece of sticky note to um, sort of lock the, the dies down so that they um, stay in place. And this is the super sticky, so the whole thing is sticky. I love that. Um, the, I love the super sticky notes for um, for holding dies just because there's a little bit more sticky to it. So I'm going to, you know, we might as well die cut the, the pigs. I wasn't going to use them on this project, but we might as well put the die on there. And I'm going to just cover cover the die with a sticky and then we're going to arrange our sheep and our flower and then the sheep details there's like a little bump back here and it fits right in to where um, the tail is and I think that is the right place to line it up. So I got our dies, we've locked in on the designer paper, we've locked them in place, and I'm gonna get out little Desi. Desi is my companion to little Lucy. Lucy is my white stamp and cotton emboss machine. And um, this new blue one is boho blue, and it is available as an add-on when you join as a demonstrator during celebration. So it's an extra $30, which is more than half price off this machine. It's pretty cool. Now, I was just seeing some comments recently about people having problems with the mini machine not feeding through um, and having some problems. And I have to say, I did have some issues with my white machine when I first got it. And I saw a tip recently from another demonstrator that I thought was really clever. Um, let, me, let me get out my other cutting pig plates. So when you get to your mini stamp and cotton emboss machine, whether you buy it or get it as part of your um, a starter kit, it comes with all the cutting plates that you need. So there is a white base and there are, um, let me just set these aside. Oh, look at the, look at the texture. Isn't that cool? I love using that extra texture die on the sheet. Um, okay, so you get the, the, the base, number one, and you get two cutting plates. Those are number twos. And then you also get two other plates. Number three is for embossing folders, like regular embossing folders um, that are really thin. And then number four is for using um, bigger embossing folders, 3D embossing folders. Okay, so the, t the tip that I saw was if you're struggling with the white base, then switch it out for the gray base 
which is just a little bit thinner. And, um, and then you should be able to fit it through without any problems. So if you're struggling to get the, um, the plates to feed through the machine, try to switch out number one and instead use number three for your platform. And hopefully that'll work out a lot better for you. Okay, I want to flash up this join offer for you. So when you join during celebration, you get an extra $50 in your starter kit. So that means instead of $125 in product, you get $175, and it's only $99 plus tax. Then you have the option, if you want, you don't have to, you have the option of getting the mini stamp and cotton emboss machine in either blue or white for just $30 more. Normally, the mini stamp and cotton emboss machine is $63. And so getting it for $30 plus no shipping, it's kind of an amazing deal. <laughs> I think almost everyone who is joining is choosing either the Boho Blue or the White Machine. If you're a new demonstrator, leave a comment. Let, let us know. <laughs> Did you choose blue? Did you choose white? Did you opt not to get the mini machine at all? Um, I love the mini machine just for the size. It fits most of the dies that I use, and it's really great and portable. It doesn't take up a lot of space in your stamp room or on your desk. So if you're thinking about a mini machine, it's such a great way to get it right now. Only $30 when you add it onto your starter kit. Okay, let's bring our elements back in here. Um, I just remembered we need to do a little bit more stamping. Um, so let's take our dies. We better put these dies away. I gotta get out my little... Um, I have a little bowl, I think it was Carmen who sent it to me, um, a little bowl to, to keep my dies in so I don't lose them. And usually I have other stuff in it on my desk. Um, where did it go? Oh, I think it's got, I think it's on my other desk. Okay, we better just put these away so we don't lose them. <laughs> If you've ever lost a die, then uh, you will only make that mistake once. <laughs> you will not let it happen again. It is a sad, sad day to lose a die. Okay, I've got them all back in there. And we can move on to stamping the white piece. Okay, so I'm going to bring in... I'm going to bring in my grid paper, and for this piece, I'm going to do some stamping. I've tried to incorporate some stamping from this set, but you know I don't love to color. So I die cut the animals, but I'm going to do some stamping with um, some other background pieces. So I'm using the hills, and look how well those pair together. You just go right in a row, and um, and it, I think it always just looks fabulous every time I do it. So I've got this, um, this piece for the inside, and then a sentiment for the inside. And this one says, today is a good day. And this is going to be in black ink. Today is a good day. Oh, I think that's stamped well. Okay. So, where are all the pieces? I'm missing, I'm missing one piece. Two pieces. <laughs> I have a piece of designer paper that is one and a quarter by three and three quarters, and it's going to go on the bottom of the white cardstock. And then another piece of garden green. And this is just a little strip just to kind of, I don't know, like just finish this off. I just kind of wanted to have like a little look to that. And I chose pear pizzazz and garden green because those are the colors in the designer paper. So this is going to go on the other black layer. And this was the same size as the designer paper in the first black layer. So you've got those. And so now we're ready to add these layers to our card. So we're going to add this on the bottom. And then 
Oh, I thought that smeared for a second. I was so sad. <laughs> um, we want to add, oh, we want to add this um, on the next layer, but you have to be careful because the whole thing is not going to be covered. So you can use regular adhesive or you can use your tear and tape, but I'm going to add the adhesive right to the card base so that I don't accidentally put too much adhesive on it. So I'm going to center that on that front flap. And then this one is going to go here. And same thing, I don't want to put too much adhesive on um, on the bottom of this. So I'm going to use some adhesive to put right onto um, the, the card base panel. And so this is going to go on here. And so when it all comes together, you can see that peek through from the center. And then you've got sort of the continuation. Today is a good day. And then it comes down more and you have the sheep. But it's looking kind of plain. We need to add some characters to, to our card. <laughs> so I have the cow. And I guess my post-it note didn't work so well because I have just a little more of a a border than I'd like at the top. So I'm just gonna kind of give it a little extra trim. I think that'll do it, maybe a little on the, on the lake. And I'm going to add this with some Stampin' Dimensionals. And this is going to be at the very top. Oh, I think that's just perfect. And then I think we're going to add our sheep down here with our other sheep friend. And I'm going to do some Stampin' Dimensionals on that one too. You don't see that one at all, so it just kind of hides there at the bottom. And then on the inside, uh, we could add the pigs, but I was thinking that we would add some flowers. Now that I put the pigs there, I kind of like the pigs. I was thinking we would just tuck some flowers in here. And I kind of like the idea of staggering them, and I could put one in the middle where, <laughs> where the stamps didn't quite um, meet up. So what do you think? I think I'm definitely going to put the flowers. Should we add the um, the pigs or should we leave the pigs off? Tell me what you think. Leave a comment and let me know. Meanwhile, I'm just going to go ahead and add these with, I think, some glue dots because they're so small. Sometimes it's hard to put the regular adhesive on such a small surface. So I'm going to use the glue dots and, um, and just put each flower on there. Okay, you guys are going to be conflicted. <laughs> I see some add, I see some leave it off. So um, mostly, mostly ads though. And you know, I will say what I always say, when you make this card at home, you can always customize it exactly how you like it. Um, but I am seeing mostly yes to the pigs. So I think I am going to add the pigs. <laughs> I think it's a nice flow with the other panels having animals to add this. Oh, you know what I just realized though? And this might change her mind. The pigs are going to be in view. Although I don't know. I don't think I mind that. I think we're going to stick with it. Thinking happy thoughts of you. Today is a good day. I'm wishing that I stamped that today is a good day a little bit lower um, just because the very top gets covered. It's not that much though. I think it's okay. So there's a little room to write your message here like, you know, hello from Julie or whatever. Um, but I think that's so fun. And I will show you of those other cards again um, because Leslie on her card, she added a little bit more designer paper in those places. And so if you want to, you can add designer paper paper um, but I feel like you don't see those um, you don't see those bits of the card as much so I decided to um, just to to leave it without the extra layers okay so here's Mercy Ermakoff's her um, owl adorable owls and Leslie Kneisel made this one with the cat cupcake 
and the dandy design. <laughs> so cute. This is the three-tier card. I know it's so much fun. I'm so glad that I tried it. I know other demonstrators have done this card before. We saw some names that came out there. Jackie Bull, Heist, Susan Campfield, Lisa Curcio. Um, I'm sure there are others as well that have shown the three-tier card. And here is my version of it. <laughs> I hope that you like it. And I hope that you enjoy this idea with the Day at the Farm designer paper. Um, this is one that I just, I haven't used a lot. I haven't seen a whole lot with it yet. Um, I have made a couple other cards. Let me show you those really quick. Um, I shared this alternative sample that I made when we did our Sunday stamping video with the Country Floral. And so here's my Day at the Farm version of that double flap card. And then I did this one in a video in December with the 12 Days of Christmas series. And this one used the masking paper to, um, to make a whole herd of sheep from all of us with a little sheep on the inside. <laughs> so I would love to know what you think about this bundle, the On the Farm bundle. So, so fun. And it coordinates so beautifully with that Day at the Farm designer paper. Have you chosen this one as a um, celebration gift? It's not too late. You've got until February 28th, the whole month, to redeem for your favorite celebration gifts. Well, this card was a little extra. <laughs> we had some extra layers, some die cutting, some designer paper, some stamping. This one was a little bit more involved. Um, and so our next card is going to be a little more simple. So if you like simple stamping, you're really going to love, um, you're really going to love this next card. So let me get out the paper. Um, we are using the Sentimental Park Bundle. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. And the Regency Park Designer Paper. This was one of my favorite suites in the catalog, and I really haven't used it a whole lot yet. Um, and so I'm excited to kind of jump in. It's on our list to show um, for Sunday stamping, so we'll be sharing some more videos and um, I really thought it'd be fun to do like another retreat in a box. Um, I have way too many plans and not enough time to execute. <laughs> um, we'll see. We'll see what I can come up with. Regency Park. This is on page 30, 31, 32, 33 in the January through April 2023 mini catalog. And so this, this suite has six by six designer paper, the um, cane weave 3D embossing folder, some um, textured shimmer paper. I love this navy ribbon ribbon and the adhesive backed milky dots. Um, but my favorite thing is that you have a choice. We've got two bundles in this um, suite. One of them has a coordinating punch and you know I love coordinating punches. And then the other one has coordinating dies and sentiments. So you get the best of both worlds. It is so much fun. And of course, you just have to get the whole thing. So if you want the whole thing, there is an item number. <laughs> As always, there is um, the sweet collection. And um, it's a great time to get your favorites um, during celebration because you get the extra, the extra freebies like that day at the farm designer paper. Okay, this paper is six by six, and I really love the colors. We have Night of Navy, Balmy Blue, um, Sweet Sorbet. Um, crushed curry, and then um, what is this green color? It reminds me of Just Jade, but I think it is Garden Green. Um, so fun and eclectic. Kind of reminds me of, you know, like some what, like 60s, 70s, you know, uh, flowers, the bright, bright colors. And I did check, and um, this designer paper, um, the ones that look like this, They do coordinate with the punch. Um, before I went live, I I tried it out, and it was like it was a tricky a tricky bit to to get it lined up just right. Um, but it does punch out from the designer paper um, those flowers. So I thought that was really fun. So you're gonna get that from um, this pattern and this one. That one's too big. I think it maybe it's just those two. Uh, but this is double-sided paper. So let's turn it over and look at the other sides. We have our more like monochromatic patterns. And I always love mixing and matching. 
some of these patterns with the more busy patterns. And so that's what we're going to do in today's um, card. We're going to create um, some designs that use more, uh, more of a subtle pattern and a busier pattern. And so I'm going to use, I'm just looking back <laughs> to see my sample card. I'm going to use this one and I'm going to use this one. Oh, I love this combination. We have the navy and the petal pink. Petal pink is one of my favorite colors. Um, did you know that? I, it's petal pink, but I always say it's petal peach. And then they came out with um, the pale papaya, which is more of a peachy color. Here are the dyes that coordinate with the Sentimental Park stamp set. So we've got some really beautiful frames here that die cut the flowers. Then we got some detail dies that die cut individual flowers, as well as some that die cut the, um, the larger blossom here. And then um, this one, which you can die cut with those. Um, and so I've actually cut some labels ahead of time. And um, I was making up a bunch of cards earlier this week for some packages that I needed to send to my team. Um, so I was sending just a whole bunch of packages to new team members, um, to newer team members. I have some more packages to get in the mail this weekend for um, some people who earned title promotions. And then I sent packages to new team members. Did I say that already? Top sales, new team members, newer team members. Um, and then the, the title promotion. So I just made up a whole bunch of cards using this layout. And this layout is actually from one of the videos I did for World Card Making Day. I did a one sheet wonder and we cut, um, we cut some designer paper. Uh, I think we did six sheets of designer paper and we cut each one in, um, with a, with a pattern and we made, um, we made a whole bunch of cards. I'll link to the video and I'll link to the template in the video description if you haven't seen it yet. For my project this week, I made a bunch of cards using the same pattern. And so today I'm going to cut the designer paper so that I'm making four cards and we're going to use the whole sheet of paper. Okay, so for the first one, um, I'm going to do two inches by four inches. So I'm going to start at the four inch mark and I'm going to cut and then I'm going to turn it and do every two inches. Two, two, and the last one is two. Okay, so we've got three pieces here and then I'm going to take this piece back in and cut it at four inches. Okay, so for the first piece of cardstock, we have, let me kind of show it to you how it breaks down, okay? This was the six by six. We've got two by four, two by four, two by four, two by four, and a leftover two by two that we'll use for another project, okay? Our next piece is going to be a very simple three by three. So we're gonna cut it in half, turn it, and cut it in half. We've got two three by threes, and then two more three by threes, okay? So you can, for this card, you can either cut and, you know, and make four cards, or you can, use that designer paper template that I shared in the class and cut all your paper to make different cards and different layouts. Um, for my project, I was making a whole bunch of cards and so I did um, different patterns using this same layout. And so I, when, I'm, when we're done here, I'll show you some of those other patterns and how those turned out. Um, I couldn't I couldn't decide <laughs> on a favorite. Um, I, I loved I love them all. There was just a few patterns I didn't end up using, but I used almost a whole package of um, the designer paper to make these cards. Um, so I am just going to center that three by three um, designer paper piece. And then the two by four is going to go right in the middle. And so you get a little three by three on either side. Super, super simple. Um, definitely on a dark cardstock, you'd want to add a white piece of um, cardstock and stamp some flowers, and maybe we will do that. But let's get these all glued down first. So this is going to go in the center. And then again, right in the center. Center. Super fast. And I will show you how I um, stepped up some of these 
I added ribbon, I added some embellishments. So you can, you can make this simple or you can really dress it up. It's totally up to you, just like everything. I love how you can customize customize ideas that you see and just make them your own. Use the designer paper you have at home, use the stamps you have at home, use the punches or dies that you have at home and, um, and make the same kind of card. Okay, four card bases, ba-boom, done. We're going to use some of these um, die cuts and I have, um, I picked out four. And we're going to stamp. I've got some um, Dear Friend, which fits really nicely on the small, the small die. And so we're gonna stamp that, Dear Friend. Oh, lovely. And look at that, simple, ta-da. <laughs> and then we're going to do, um, on the big label, we're going to do Thinking Let's see here. I think this way. Thinking. And by the way, if you do this in color, this one will fit inside and layer onto the larger label uh, with the flowers. So you can layer a white label onto the color one. Um, I'm just going to use them independently for this project. Um, so I'm going to do the thinking of you. And for this one, I'm going to stamp the U in petal pink. And we already have a lot of flowers going on, so I'm just going to leave this one as is. But for this one it's not it doesn't have that same border so i'm going to take that u i stamped off there and pretended to clean it and then i'm going to stamp it in night of navy and then we're going to add some flowers with the petal pink oh so subtle I love that like it's just a little bit. It doesn't look like it's too much. It doesn't overpower the thinking of you, but it adds a little bit of that color back into um, back into the, the card. So we're gonna add our labels on with some Stampin' Dimensionals and finish off these quick and easy cards. Can you believe how fast we made these? It did help that I had the labels die cut ahead of time, but they're not very difficult to die cut. And since there are three different dies, you can die cut all three label types at the same time. And so you don't have to send everything through the machine 20 times. It's gonna go right in the center. I love that. It's like the same kind of concept with the die, but um, you know, it changes the look completely to have a bigger dye and to add the extra color in there. I love the detail ones with the flowers, but these work really nicely too. Um, and you have that splash of color with the, um, with the petal pink, um, the petal pink flowers in the background. So this is gonna go just right in the center. Four quick and easy cards. If you don't have these dies, you could use a punched label and you could dress it up with some designer paper. I always save the folding till last. <laughs> it's just easier, especially when I'm making multiples. I find it's easier to work with the cards when they're flat and I can get things on straighter. So then I'll go through and I'll use the bone folder to give it a nice good fold. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You wanna see this card with some different designer paper? Here it is with some other patterns from the Regency Park. I did this one on crumb cake. And then here's one that I did, I accidentally um, not accidentally, I guess I just was thinking the other way and I did, I cut the 
um, the busy pattern three by three instead of two by four. So I just switched them and I added a little bit of the, um, the navy ribbon. And then here's one that I added some navy ribbon. I added some pastel sequins and really kind of dress that up. So again, this is um, crumb cake for the card base. And then you've got the different patterns of designer paper. Oh my gosh, I just love how easy this pattern is. And with the designer paper, you can mix and match. And I literally made, I think I made like 32, 36 cards. It was so quick. Um, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not keeping up on your comments, but I think you guys are having a whole conversation. Oh, tell me what you think of this card idea. Is this something that you would use? Do you like quick and easy cards? Oh my gosh, I can't believe we just made four cards and that had to be, I think, the fastest of our projects tonight. Let me review. Oh no, before we review, I've got some mail back to share with you. So I'm going to get that out. I almost forgot. I've gotten some fun cards in the, in the past week. And so before we review the cards, let me share some cards with you. Um, we, we really had some fun things arrive in the mailbox. Um, first of all, I have to start with these because I'm embarrassed. I found these Christmas cards on my floor still in the envelope and I never did share them. And they were just so fun. I had to, even though Christmas is over, um, I thought you guys would still enjoy seeing those. So this one's from Kathy Brenneman and she used the split texture dies and that holly bundle. So beautiful. Oh my gosh, I just love it. And this one is from Christina Scott using the same bundle, but just the stamped images. So pretty the way you have the two-step layering there. And the last one is from Janet Galinis, and she used the candy cane um, bundle. And I think those are cut from the designer paper. Um, I loved, I loved that bundle in the mini catalog. Okay, so some late Christmas things. I also got this awesome calendar from Chris Anderson. I love it. It's a little easel and you have a, a sticky note, um, a sticky note pad there. So thank you so much, Chris. I will enjoy having this on my desk um, so that I can always look up and see what date it is. I feel like I'm always, I'm always like, um, I'm always trying to fuddle with my, um, with my, my desktop calendar. So this is this is good to have. I got a couple cards from Shannon West. I can't remember if I shared this one before. Um, this was one that she sent me for my million dollar achievement. And then she sent me this one for achieving the Mexico incentive trip. It is always so much fun to get mail from Shannon West. She's from the Stampin' Up! Home Office. She's the demonstrator. Um, And this is a new stamp set. It's that new taco, the Taco Fiesta stamp set. Let me see if I can share it really quick. Uh, right here, the Taco Fiesta stamp set. I got this one, I haven't used it yet, but I'm really excited. And she used the little pinata here and then the little sombrero. I thought it was so clever and so perfect. It coordinates really well with the logo that Stampin' Up! has for the Mexico incentive trip. I got some cards in the mail this oh my gosh this one is so fun from janet casto using the by the bay suite and it look at it has this fun fold you pull it open it's kind of like the pop-up pocket card that we did before but instead of having um a gift card it opens up to be like a little mini card on the inside isn't that fun Oh my gosh, I love the designer paper that you use, Janet. And I'm definitely going to have to give this fun, fun, fun fold a try. She said uh, her new favorite set, which is no surprise. Janet lives down in Florida, um, and I knew she would love this bundle, this suite. Uh, she said she learned this fun fold from her friend, Beth. So Janet, you'll have to tell me if this has a name, and I will definitely share uh, in another video how to make this card. So much fun. Also got this beautiful card from Kathy Bradley using the apple blossom and the cottage, um, cottage, gingham cottage designer paper. Look at the um, detailed dies. These are in the clearance rack, at least they were. I think they're still there. They coordinate with the apple blossom set, which was in the mini catalog, um, but you can still get those dies. I think that coordinate. So beautiful. And then the last set of projects. <laughs> These are amazing. Sharon Groves sent um, some, some special projects. So in January, our great big card swap theme 
<laughs> was kids. And so instead of making one card um, to send in for the swap, Sharon made cards they're like really many books for all of my kids. And I just thought that was so amazing. And Sharon, I have to tell you that the kids just thought it was so special to have such an amazing project that was made just for them. So thank you so much, Sharon, for these amazing projects. And I made them, I told them they couldn't eat the chocolate until I shared them. <laughs> so now I will let them know they can have out of this is the one for Thomas. And I love that uh, you personalized each one with the letter. This is really fun. It's like a pocket, but it also has these little pages and little um, little things. I cannot wait to, to try to make these. The little books especially have inspired me. And so I hope to um, make my own version and I'll share a little video with some tips on, on that when I get them made. But this is just so much fun. All the little details, um, Sharon, are just, um, just so incredible. I also love all these little trinkets too. Um, there's that little little chocolates and then the girls each had one personalized for themselves this is Claire's and she thought that this um enclosure this um I guess closure yes is the right word um to, where it wraps around the um the brad she thought that was just so clever and it comes back around little trinket here follow your heart and then on the inside there are different pockets with little tags, little shaker tags. Um, oh my gosh, just every little detail, Sharon, is so amazing. And then there are little pockets um, on the top here that have tags that pull out. Um, I just thought this was just so fun. Oh my goodness. Seriously, Claire was just in awe. <laughs> she really was. So I think maybe I'll have the girls, um, maybe we'll design some together and make little, little mini books because they just thought this was really cool and they were inspired um, to do something similar. All the coordinating little things. And there's her chocolate tucked in at the side there. Um, and then my favorite part, I think, is the 3D tag with the butterfly. So we've got this butterfly die cut and there's three of them folded in half and they're all kind of sandwiched together. Can you see that? So this is one, this is one, and this is one. And so they're all sandwiched together and the twine runs through the middle. And then that wraps around and then around to hold the book closed. I know, and it's so amazing. Sharon, you just have outdone yourself. This one has a magnetic closure. The dogs are saying hi. <laughs> this one has a magnetic closure. So there's a little, a little magnet inside the designer paper here and inside the heart. And Elise thought this was just the coolest with the magnet closure. I love the little trinkets here. You're so sweet. And then on the inside, we have a similar thing with different pockets and the, um, the designer paper pocket here where you have little things to pull out, little tags, and there's places to put pictures. So if you're making like a little book to send to somebody. And look at this, Sharon just thought of every little detail. And so she used the kids, each one of them has a personalized with their letter. So this is E for Elise. And oh, just so, so clever, just everything. I love this little envelope with the, with the hearts. And then in the back, we've got this little like pleated paper pocket, which holds her little candy and the vellum square doily. Oh, I, I saw that little heart. Get back over there. <laughs> and it has, like I said, the magnetic closure. Oh my gosh. So amazing. I love that they're so different, Sharon. You've, again, you've just outdone yourself. This one was tied here on the side with a little bee. Let it be. I thought this was just so clever. And this one's for Anna. A for Anna here. We've got the little tags. And these are, some of these pieces are from Memories and More cards and envelopes. And so I was thinking that I could do something similar with the new, um, the new cards and envelopes. So, or the new cards. So this one is cut from a card too. Um, so I can't wait to give this a try and make my own version. So stay tuned. I'll definitely be doing a little video where I'll try my hand at making a little mini book. Here's some washi tape with the bees, some more little tags. Oh my gosh. I love the layers and layers of tags. 
So amazing, Sharon. So amazing. I'll stick that one back in there. And there's Anna's, Anna's little chocolate. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Sharon, for these amazing happy meal for the kids. They really did feel so special to have one made for each of them, like an early Valentine. And um, you were just so very thoughtful. Thank you so much. Let's review the cards that we made tonight. We did a, a set of four cards here at the end using the Regency Park. We also made a three-tier card using the On the Farm designer paper. And we started by casing the catalog using the new Sweet Citrus bundle, the hybrid bundle that has an embossing folder and die that die cut at the same time. I hope you are inspired by today's projects. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the project ideas that I shared today, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future projects. On Sunday at noon central time, we'll have another episode of Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie featuring the Thanks a Bunch carrot stamp set from Celebration. So if you've been looking for some ideas using that freebie, then you definitely want to um, tune in for that video. Um, and then next week, I'm trying to think, it's not a swap. It's not a swap week. But um, maybe if I get those mini books done over the weekend, I'll have a video that premieres. So stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, and make sure to turn on the notifications by ringing the bell so you don't miss out on those videos when they're posted. Thanks again for tuning in tonight. I'm so glad you were able to join me, and I'm sorry that we weren't live at our regular time on Thursday night. But moving forward, we should be able to keep up with Thursday for Thursday night stamp therapy at 7.15 p.m. Central Time. Have a great weekend, and thanks again for tuning in. Bye.